Why study the seerah? Why should you be interested in the seerah? Why spend our time coming here and understanding the seerah of the Prophet Wasallam? Well, the benefits are numerous. First and foremost, Allah has commanded us to know this man. This is an obligation that Allah has put upon us. We have to know this person. And there are over 50 verses in the Quran that command us to take the Prophet as an example. Of them, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآقِرَةِ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ Indeed there is for you, فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ In the Messenger of Allah, أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ An exemplary manner, a perfect conduct. Uswa means something you follow. Hasana means a perfect. So you have in the Prophet wasallam the perfect example to follow. And therefore, the study of the life and times of the Prophet wasallam is the study of somebody we need to follow. And the amazing thing, no matter which angle you look at the life and times of the Prophet wasallam, you will benefit from that. So of the perfection of Allah's wisdom is that He sends human beings, flesh and blood, people like ourselves, born of women, married and having children, just like us. But the difference is they are chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are made role models and examples. Another blessing of studying the seerah is that the seerah is the number one way to increase our love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The number one way, there is really no other way as effectively and as powerfully to increase our love for the Prophet ﷺ than by studying his life and his times. And so by studying the seerah, our love for the Prophet ﷺ increases and conversely, it demonstrates our love. It's a two-way street. When you study, your love goes up. In order for your love to go up, you need to study. And if you truly love this man, you will study him. And that is because a sign of loving someone is to want to know more about them. A sign of loving somebody is to want to know more about that person. This is human nature. Understanding the seerah also helps us to understand the Qur'an. Because the Qur'an is a very complex book, it's a very profound book. And it cannot be understood without context. You cannot understand without context. So by studying the seerah, the Qur'an gains meaning, profundity. Without the seerah, the Qur'an is without context. Without context, you will never appreciate the Qur'an. Another benefit of studying the seerah, the seerah raises our hopes, lifts our spirit, and blesses us with optimism. Especially in our times when we're facing Islamophobia, we're facing a little bit of persecution. Wallahi, to call it persecution is, is even embarrassing when we look at what the Prophet and the early Sahaba suffered. We in America are not being persecuted in that sense. Nonetheless, times have changed from the last 10 years. And things are happening now, we're facing a little bit of the heat. We need a source of direction, a source of optimism. And by studying the seerah, we can understand that the people before us suffered even more. And we compare our trials and tribulations to their trials and tribulations. So, think about this. Our Prophet ﷺ heard the stories of the earlier Prophets. What did that do to him? Gave him more optimism, increased his Iman. How about us then? Don't we deserve even more so? That our Iman goes up when we study the life and times of the Prophet So the studying of the life and times of the previous generations of the Prophets of Allah, it brings about an immediate benefit. لِنُثَبِّتَ بِهِ فُؤَادَكَ To resolve, to affirm your chest, i.e. to increase your Iman. Yet another benefit of studying the Seerah, and this is something many of us don't really uh, think about, the seerah itself is a miracle of the Prophet sallallahu When somebody asks you, what are the miracles of the Prophet and we start thinking the splitting of the moon, the talking of the tree, this, that, this, that. And we don't think that, that in fact, his whole life is a miracle from beginning to end. His whole life is an indication that he was a Prophet of Allah. Coming from where he came, with the education or lack of education that he had, and yet coming forth with the message, the profundity, the scripture, the eloquence of the Qur'an. Where did this come from? In addition to that, his patience, his perseverance, his success, coming in the middle of a pagan, ancient civilization that had no, there was no civilization. They didn't even have a script. They didn't have two-story buildings. They didn't have a library. 
They couldn't even read and write. And yet the Prophet ﷺ came from the midst of a backward, uneducated, uncivilized, barbaric nation. We're going to talk about this next week. They were really a barbaric nation. And within 50 years, within 20 years, look what happened. Within 50 years, Islam began to spread. Within 100 years, it ruled the world. This is a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the seerah is the beginning of that miracle. How he lived, the power that he wielded, and yet the simplicity with which he lived his life. The sacrifice that the Sahaba would have done had he asked them to do, but he didn't. And it is impossible for a human not to be affected by that power, by that luxury, by that wealth, unless there is really a divine sincerity in him. A pure sincerity that this is being done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.